Welcome to our ADM Lucid automation testing channel. We'll have a series of talks about Selenium automation testing, which will help you understand the basics of Selenium and also guide you to build your own Selenium automation project. You may access our test projects and step-by-step -step guides to build the automation test project in the description below. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for any new videos and updates. In today's video, we're gonna discuss how to use Selenium load test with JMeter. So a load test is a type of performance testing that evaluates the behavior of a system under specific conditions, such as high volume of concurrent users or a heavy transaction load. The purpose of load testing is to ensure that a system can handle its expected workload and performance requirements. We will show you, uh, we'll show user interface load testing with Selenium using JMeter. So what are concurrent users? Well, concurrent users refers to the number of users accessing the system simultaneously. So in a load test, you can simulate a realistic number of concurrent users to assess how well the system can handle the load test or the expected load. This metric helps evaluate the system's performance under peak usage conditions. Load time. So load time, also known as response time, is the duration it takes for the system to respond to a user's actions. It includes the time taken for the server to process the request and send back the response. Load time is a critical metric because it directly impacts the user experience. As part of load testing, you measure and analyze load times under different levels of load to ensure they remain within acceptable limits. Next term we're gonna talk about is ramp up. And ramp up is a process of gradually increasing the number of virtual users or requests over time during a load test. Instead of instantly subjecting the system to the maximum load, you simulate a gradual increase to observe how the system scales. This helps identify performance issues that may arise as the load grows. Uh, the ramp up period allows you to monitor how the system adjusts to increasing traffic and whether it can handle the load smoothly. So if you want to download JMeter, uh, what you got to do is you just have to go to this link right here. And I'm just going to open the link, show you what it looks like. So you can download JMeter right here. Uh, next, uh, once you download it, you can start JMeter from its bin folder. Next, you must download uh, the plugins manager jar file and put it in the JMeter's library-ext directory and then start JMeter and go to the options menu to access the plugins menu uh, manager. And so the download link for that is right here and you can download it using this link right here. The next thing you have to do uh, to set up JMeter with Selenium is you have to download and install this web driver right here. And again, I'm gonna click on the link and this is what the web page looks like. And you can just go ahead and download and install this. And there's different versions right here. Okay, so now I have downloaded JMeter and I installed the package manager. And now I've went to the bin folder and I opened up JMeter. And when you open up JMeter, this is the interface that you see. Uh, right here, what I did here was I added a new uh, t a new threat a new thing right here called test plan. So you just go here, um, or you just go here and you go add, uh, and I, I have something called test plan here. And under test plan, I added a thread group. And to add a thread group, you right click the test plan, you go to add, you go to threads, and you add a thread group. And so I did that right here. And within the thread group, I added some other things in order to start our own project. So in this example, I'm going to give a very simple example so that we can see how to set up our environment in uh, JMeter, and then we can work on more complex examples in the future. So the first thing we do uh, once we create our thread group is we right click, we go to add, and then we go to config element, and then we added a remote driver config element. And basically, that's what we have right here. So I already added it, but I'm just going to walk you through the steps of everything we added. The next thing we added was we uh, go here, we go to add, and then we go to sampler, and then we go to web driver sampler right here, and that's what we added up here. The fourth, uh, the third, and the fourth thing we added was the view trees uh, results tree and view results in table. And to do that, you go to add, you go to um, uh, where 
is it? You go to listener, and then you open, uh, you click view results tree, and then the next time you click view results uh, in table. And once you added those four things, you can run your own project. Uh, this right here, we deleted, uh, we disabled already, so this is not important. Um, but uh, within each of these, uh, I just want to show you what kind of um, what kind of configurations we set up. So first, we can go to the remote driver config, and here uh, I s pasted a uh, local host uh, URL for the Selenium grid right there, and then here I selected the different check boxes depending on our needs. And after that, since we're using Chrome in this analysis, uh, I went to Chrome here and I added additional argument here. And this is the argument I had, remote allow origins right here. So that's important. Now, the next thing we did was under web driver sampler here, um, this is the default code that comes along with JMeter. And to keep it simple, we didn't add anything to this. We just uh, changed the browser URL right here to the browser that we want to test. And so that's that. And next, um, in order uh, for the listeners, uh, view results tree and view results in table, there's not much you need to edit. So these, you don't have to do anything. And so with that, we're ready to run our JMeter test. And to basically run your JMeter test, you can just go to up here, and then you can just click that, start, and it'll run the JMeter test. It'll pop up a bunch of different windows for the concurrent users, uh, and it'll show you the different windows that are popped up right here. So we'll let it run for a little bit. And yeah, so once uh, we have this run, we can go and look at some of our results and uh, we can just click on each of these results basically right here. And it'll basically tell us how each of the results are each of the user, concurrent user uh, worked out. So some things we want, want to look at is the response message. Okay, so that's good. And response code 200, which is also good. Some other things that might be interesting to look at is the load time, and yeah, so that's uh, the view results on the tree. You can put this into a table if you go to this right here, and this table makes it a lot easier to see. So we see that we, we specified 20 concurrent users, and uh, we specified that right here in the thread group right here, where we specified 20 concurrent users, we specified a ramp up period of five seconds, and we have one loop. So that's what we specified here, and in our results, we see 20 concurrent users, and we see the results from each of the users. So all their statuses are good. This is the sample time, which is equivalent to the response time. Uh, and we see the response time for each of them. And we see the latency, we see the bytes, and so on. But yeah, so that is basically how you can use JMeter to start your own little analysis, a low test analysis. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.